Right, hi guys, and welcome to another video on Plan Swift. Right, so for today, we're, we're, we're going to be talking about calibration, or better known as scaling. Right, so for those who have uh, started out using the trial of Plan Swift, you will know that uh, Plan Swift does not allow you to measure your drawing until you have scaled. So it is an inbuilt um, sort of restriction and also a reminder to you to scale your drawing. So if I actually proceed to try to measure something, uh, this message will always come up asking you to set the scale. So to start off with scaling, you can either click yes uh, to just proceed to the scale page or you can click on this button over here. Right. So you notice that this button actually has a top and bottom uh, kind of uh, kind of system as with many other features. Right. So the drop down menu actually allows you to set a particular preset scale. Right. A particular preset scale. Right, uh, if, your, if your drawing scale bar or a certain somewhere in your title block has uh, this certain scale there, you are welcome to select it. But uh, personally, that is not uh, recommended because there are times where your scale bar and your title block can have the wrong scale uh, indicated there. Right, it is still prone to human error. So for absolute accuracy, we would recommend clicking on the top portion of the button which will open this window up. Right, so for us in Asia we are working in metric, right? So you we will select the metric uh, item over here. Right, so I'm working in meters, so I will set it to meters. Right, so with Plan Swift's um, scaling system, you have to key in the distance which you want to scale beforehand. So that also means that you will need to select or actually I and select which kind of distance you want to scale. So uh, which of the distances are actually best selected, right? It's always better to select distances between grid lines because they are dynamic and the numbers uh, will more than likely be correct, right? So I have already uh, saw this distance between grid line A and B, which is 9.6 meters. So I'm going to type in 9.6, right? So now uh, you have the option here of applying the scale to all pages again. Um, this is not recommended because uh, there may be other pages which um, which have slightly different scales and um, having all the scales applied to all the pages may result in yourself being complacent and just assuming and therefore making mistakes, right? And to be fair, scaling takes less than probably 30 seconds to do, right? Okay, so now I'm going to click OK and once I click OK, uh, there will be this, uh, you notice there's a message coming out, click first point of dimension for scaling, right? So most of the features in Plan Swift, they will come up with this small little guide uh, to tell you what you need to do, right? So from here, what I will do is that I will zoom in, I will select this point, the starting point, left click, move, zoom out and click the other point. So once done, I have scaled this item 9.6. Right, so once you have done that, you notice that over in my pages list, there will be an icon here that is a horizontal kind of uh, scale, right? So as I turn it on and turn it off, it actually controls this, whether it is visible or not. And after that, I also have an icon here that has an arrow pointing to the left and right. This goes to show that you have already scaled it horizontally. Okay, so that also means that you can have the option of scaling vertically as well. So you can scale up to twice if you want to be very sure of your dimensions, right? But uh, from a management perspective, PlanSwift only requires you to measure, uh, oh, sorry, uh, PlanSwift only requires you to scale once, whether it's horizontal or vertical, and you can proceed with your measurements uh, afterwards, right? So after you scale your drawing, it is recommended to use the dimension tool to check for your scale. So usually what you do is that you click on one point, move your pointer over here. And then once you are at that pointer, just leave it there. Right. So if I can see, oh, 9.6 is correct, then yes, I can press the escape button. Then your scale is confirmed to be correct. You are, of course, welcome and encouraged to check the dimensions for other kind of uh, distances, uh, whether of a different, uh, different X and Y scale. Yeah, go ahead and do that to make sure that your scale is correct. Right, so I hope this video has helped you out. Thank you. See you again.